When you look at the map of China, you will find that almost all the great rivers in the country's eastern regions flow from west to east. There is only one long river running from north to south, and it's not a natural one, but an artificial one, with a length of 1,800 kilometers. It is the Beijing Hangzhou Grand Canal. Speaking of China's cultural heritage, I think the first thing that comes to your mind should be the Great Wall. Yeah, but cliche but true. <laughs> but there is another important Chinese cultural heritage, which is the Great Canal. The Grand Canal. All right, the Grand Canal. <laughs> Welcome to Booming Beijing. Beijing. I'm Zhihui. I'm Xiao Bai. As an old saying goes, the city of Beijing floats on the Grand Canal. Located at the northernmost point of the Grand Canal and as the imperial center, the city has been the capital of China for more than 800 years. We often say that a river is a river. In the Great Wall, these boats and people who see the river as a river, know that this is definitely the Great Wall. Because our river is also the Great Wall of the Great Wall, etc. It's a very beautiful place. Now, the river has become a national heritage. The National Heritage Center is the most important place in the world. In 1292, the Tonghui Canal from Tongzhou to Beijing's Jishuitan area was dug, allowing boats from Hangzhou to directly enter the city center and forming the trajectory of the Grand Canal as we still know it today. Beijing also became the most special destination along the canal, combining the functions of politics, economy and culture, and becoming the center for north-south exchanges. 像江南一带的状元也是有很多状元来到咱们这儿，怎么来的呢？那就是坐船从京杭大运河啊，他们过来是其实是来北京进京赶考，他们走的就是京杭大运河，是最稳妥、最便捷的方式。Today, more than 300 million people still reside on the Grand Canal's banks, connected with the canal of the Sui and Tang dynasties and the canal in East Zhejiang Province. China's Grand Canal was inscribed on UNESCO's World Heritage List in 2014. Nowadays, even though transportation modes are constantly evolving, the Grand Canal still shines. The eastern route of the South North Water Transfer Project uses the canal and parallel waterways to divert water from the Yangtze River to areas along it, such as Jiangsu and Shandong provinces. In April 2022, the entire canal was refilled with water for the first time in a century. In June this year, water was replenished along the entire Beijing Hangzhou Grand Canal. The Grand Canal is cultural heritage passed down by our ancestors and it should be protected. Yes, and it's also being developed by all the tourists and locals who are attracted to whatever is happening on its banks and on the water right now. Mm. It's basically where the old flows into the new. The canal nourishes Beijing, and Beijing protects the canal. As time goes by, stories about great rivers have been told thousands of times. And when we revisit the river, we see that the real beauty of its story is that... As night skies chase away the heat of day, Beijingers are coming out to play. What a lovely ride! Yeah. Xiaobai, you are quite familiar with this area, right? Yeah, I run here. You're not the only one. In, I know. In Chinese social media, mm -hmm. the hashtag Liangma Nightscape has been a very hot topic. Yeah. And this is where new and the old come together here. The cultural belt of the Grand Canal in Beijing is recovering, and the Liangma River is part of said belt. Since 2019, the river's water and environment have been improved, and the Liangmai River International Waterfront Park was born. For Booming Beijing, we figured, instead of just walking around the river, mm -hmm. why not just jump right in the river? So to speak. But uh, we're going to take a little river cruise. Another trending topic on Chinese social media. Hello, hello, Chen Zhang. <laughs> Liangma河它其实代表了一种生活方式 
。那它整个的取景呢，也是源自于梵高的星空。啊，小白可以站起来，可以站起来，可以站起来感，对。对你就可以感觉到手可触及星辰的感觉。对，在这条河道上，不管是白天还是晚上，你会经常看到很多的鱼，然后鸭、野鸭，还有的时候还会看到天鹅。它呢，最终还是会汇集到大运河中。北京的整个的水系，从上游到下游，它都会汇集到大运河里面。Man and river coexist, growing and flowing together. History only happens once, and time can only move forward. As we have done over the past 1,000 years, we will continue to flow with it in the millennium to come.